babe, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new, I'm Shayla. I recently filmed my winter morning routine, so I thought it was only fitting that I vlog my winter night routine for you. I will be honest with you, my night routine fluctuates a little bit depending upon whether I'm spending time with my boyfriend or not, because if he were coming over and we were cooking dinner together, I'd probably work out in the morning, but today I knew that I would have the evening free to hang out with you so we could have a little girls night. And I also did not get to work out earlier today, so we're gonna do a little workout this evening before we get my night routine going. It is winter in New York City, so it gets dark at like four o'clock right now, which, you know, I don't love it. I, I don't love it. But you know what? I moved to New York from California for a change, and so I'm embracing it and I'm learning to love it. And as with all things, Seasons come and go. So we're embracing the winter season. I'm layered up. I literally have sweatpants over my leggings. <laughs> I've had my heater on all day. It's a chilly one outside today. Oh, look who came to join. Hi. <laughs> We're just gonna have a little girls night. Girls night, girls night, girls night. Okay, anyway, let's get the show on the road. I'm delirious from working all day. <laughs> the end of my work day is basically the beginning of my night routine. Also, I feel like I can take these off now I'm not working anymore. I already looked at my to-do list for tomorrow, which is probably the first thing that I do in my night routine. I like to review what I got done during the day, decide what I'm going to do tomorrow and come up with a plan of attack so that I have clarity on what I'm going going to be getting done tomorrow because even though I do go over my to-do list and tasks through my morning routine and I have a very solid morning routine that sets me up to have a wonderful day, I believe that a good morning starts the night before, which is why I like to do a quick jot down of things that I maybe didn't get to or anything that has a time constraint around it that might be due or that I need to make sure that I get done in time. And I just like to do that the night before. So I feel like I have a mental picture of what's happening the next day. Also make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. If you watched my morning routine, by the way, I'm just packing my little ball of bangles, then you already know that I am a full-time content creator and work for myself, which means that things are always changing. And I typically work out in the afternoons or early evenings like I'm doing tonight, but sometimes I work out in the morning if I have the time. It all just depends on my schedule. For dinner, I'm going to do a little veggie stir fry. With broccoli, these tiny little eggplants, mushrooms, some carrot, onion, and a little zucchini. When I am home cooking alone, I like to listen to a podcast while I cook. And I'm currently listening to Something Was Wrong. Kind of like a true crime podcast. Twisted storylines vary into it. I actually don't listen to any podcasts that are like my own podcast. Which, by the way, if you didn't know, I have a podcast called the Yoga Inspired Life Podcast. And I feel like I always get asked for recommendations for podcasts that are similar to mine. But again, like I just said, I actually don't listen to any that are like mine because I feel like it can cloud my own ideas, thoughts, and judgments, and I want to make sure that I'm speaking in a really authentic voice and 
not taking any ideas that are not my own. watch an episode of something. I actually don't watch any TV at all during the day and that's just a habit that I've created for myself, but I do allow myself to watch an episode of something and I will be honest with you. When it is just me by myself, I do love a reality show. I really do. I am currently watching 90 Day Fiance and I also do love Married at First Sight right now. I can't explain it. It just scratches an itch for me. Or I do love a docu-series, but Today, I just feel like a reality show is what I'm into. And then I'm gonna put some of this chili crunch on top. And that is dinner. Good girl. The next step in my night routine is a step I never skip because I refuse to go to bed with a messy kitchen or a messy house. I always clean up after dinner. I just can't stand waking up to a messy kitchen. For whatever reason, I cannot relax until everything is cleaned up and put away. And then I take my supplements at night. I spoke about this in my morning routine, but basically I typically don't eat a ton of food first thing in the morning. And so yeah, long story short, it's just better for me to take them after my heaviest meal of the day. Although I do take gem multis in the morning, as you know, if you watch that morning routine. Also like to make little magnesium drink, which we'll do later after my shower and my nighttime vitamins. And I just like to pull these out so that I don't forget. You ready to go for a walk? It is now time to take little miss for her final walk of the evening. Are you ready, Bolly? Should we go? Why don't you come over here? Come. Can you show how you do a circle? Good job. High five. Good job. You're so smart. Can you do another circle? Lay down. Wow, you're so smart. take a shower let me show you what products I'm gonna use in the shower and I will also show you the skincare products I'm gonna use as well as how I set the vibe at night in my bedroom 
currently using Elemis cleansing balm to remove my makeup. I also really love the one from Pharmacy Beauty, but I ran out of that one and I happen to have some of this, so I'm gonna be using that. Then I will double cleanse first with this CeraVe cleanser and then with my tried and true Panoxyl. I do have acne prone skin and this helps me keep my skin clear. And then I will be using this body wash and it smells incredible. If you are into Santal, then you're gonna love this. I cannot get enough of this scent. I'm not gonna wash my hair because I have a hot yoga class booked in the morning and my hair is gonna get it disgusting in that class anyway. For skincare, I'm gonna use the Collagen Dream Night Cream and this eye cream from Glow Recipe. But before I do all of that, I have to set the vibe in my room. I like to put some Santal diffuser oil in my little ceramic diffuser. And then I turn down my bed. I always bring my silk pillows forward. I need to fill up my canopy humidifier. I do this for the skin benefits, but it's out of water, so I need to fill that up. I have color changing bulbs in my lamps and I turn a red light on at night. I would have done it a lot sooner, but I'm filming and I can't turn off all the lights, <laughs> otherwise you wouldn't be able to see anything. But just know, I typically do not have overhead lights on this late, and I like dim the lights way, way low and keep red lights on in my bedroom. And I do this because it is way better for your circadian rhythm. I talked about it before on my podcast, and I've been doing this since 2020, and I noticed that I sleep way better on the nights when I stick with just red lights an hour before bed. I'm sacrificing that for you tonight because I love you and I want to show you my night routine. Pretty good sacrifice if you ask me. I cannot believe I almost forgot to tell you this. I feel like if you watch my vlogs a lot, you already know this. But for those of you that are new or didn't know this, every single night after I take a bath or a shower, I lather my body in Osea Undaria Algae Body Oil. I literally oil myself up like a rotisserie chicken, and it is my favorite part of my night routine. There's nothing better than this body oil, I'm telling you. It's not greasy, it smells amazing, and it just makes my skin so soft. I cannot get enough of it. And then I always use the Coco Kind My Matcha Stick on my brows. Been doing this for years and I swear it helped my eyebrows grow. And then once whatever eye cream I use absorbs into my skin, I use my matcha stick around my eyes as well. Just for some extra hydration. Then I do a big swig of these liquid nighttime vitamins. They just help me sleep. My friend Danny actually told me about this. She is my friend who I originally visited in New York when I first came in 2022. Love you, Danny. If you're watching, I miss you. She moved back to LA. That's why I never see her anymore. But I absolutely love this stuff. I like the pineapple dream one and I swear by it. It works so well. And I do a little nighttime cocktail. So I do a big swig of this and then I make my magnesium, which is a magnesium drink from Moon Juice, and I like to drink it in warm water. And between those two things, I sleep like a baby. If I don't do this magnesium drink, I will do Sleepy Time Extra Tea. But I really like this pink drink. And then at this point, it's just all relaxing from here. I read my book, currently reading Things We Hide From The Light. I do always use a little bit of this Vegas Nerve oil from Osea. This just helps me wind down and really chill out for sleep. As well as my lip sleeping mask from Laneige. This stuff is my favorite. I do sleep with an eye mask, but that won't go on until I'm done reading. And I'll typically read for 30 minutes before I go to bed. And then I will turn on my weight noise on my hatch alarm. And I usually put an audiobook to fall asleep too. We're getting very specific here, but that is the truth. And that is my night routine. I'm quite literally now going to wind down and go to bed. But thank you for watching. I love you. And I will see you in my next video. Good night.